All right, today we're doing hot air ballooning 101 here. So this is a typical Cameron basket. Um, basically, we always lay the two tanks down on our equipment, and there's three tanks on board. And to put the uprights up, you put the burners up on top of the uprights. There's a pinch point right there you want to be real careful of. Once you got the uprights up, you take one cable off the carabiner, slide it through the ear, put the other one on, lock it down. So then you close the gate tight, back it off a quarter turn. Always uh, pull the gate all the way down, and like I said, back it off just a quarter turn so it's not locked. And then put the upright suede on there, wrap it around, and zip it down. It seems to be the easiest way to go. And now at that point, uh, the basket's all ready for a burner check, so I'll stop right there. Okay, these Cameron tanks are 15-gallon tanks. Um, basically, at the very top, they have a spit valve. So one of the few ways you know the tank is completely full is open the spit valve, and you see that white shooting out? That's propane. If that was not to shoot out, then that would mean the tank is enough for the spit valve. So sometimes if you inflate when it's hot, you have to shake the tank a little bit to get it to spit because the propane contracts. This tube goes down 8 inches into the tank, and when it's uh, filled to the full height, it'll spit. The tank will actually hold 17 gallons of liquid, but the spit valve indicates that it's full to 15 gallons. Now the fuel gauge shows the bottom 35% of the fuel, so that's why we're not worried about the fuel gauge at this point. And we want to check the volume of the tank by the spit valve to make sure it's full. So this particular balloon is manifolded together. These two tanks are manifolded together. And the other one's a solo tank. So we've got three tanks in here. And uh, the manifold system goes in. So now um, we check all three tanks, make sure there's propane in them. Let the air blow by a little bit. Let the propane go. Josh will check those other tanks. That one's full. That one's full. Now this is real important if you don't fly all the time because you might actually forget to refuel one day and then you go out to fly and if the tanks aren't spitting, they could be just three, three and a half, four gallons in each tank and not be reading on the dial. So it's real important to do that step, especially if you haven't flown in a while. So now the wind kind of blew that raw propane away. We're going to light the burners. The burners, these are the pilot lights. So that's the way you turn it on, you twist it on, push the button a couple times. Go ahead and hit that one, Josh. And of course, we're giving us a hard time here. There we go. So once the pilot lights lit, just light it off this one, Josh, and then just give it a little Make sure your pilot lights are working. Turn that other tank on. So we want to make sure, go ahead and burn them. We want to make sure all systems are operational. So that's the uh, pilot lights on this side. The whisper valve is on the other side. So the main blast valve goes through the coils, the propane comes up through the coils, propane expands as it gets hot, so that builds pressure and it's a much bluer, cleaner flame. The whisper valve does not go through the coils, and that's a much brighter flame. The balloon will fly just fine on the whisper valve, but for the most part we use the clean main burners all the time. So now we're going to shut the pilot lights down, we're going to shut our tanks off and bleed the lines out. and then that way there's no fuel in the lines. So we can lay it over and continue our rigging. There's one other thing we didn't talk about when we were doing the initial burner check, we just skipped over it. The pressure valve. If you want to know how much pressure is in your fuel line, you can see this gauge right here, there's a green arc. So you always want your pressure to be in the green arc. If it's really cold, it might be let down below the green arc, that's not good. And if you use nitrogen or heat your tanks, you don't want it above 150 pounds, so it's from 50 to 150 pounds is flyable, um, flyable fuel. Instruments are kind of simple. We're taking them off right now, but to put them on, you take them out of their pack-up bag, and you put the loop up through the uh, burner handle, feed them through the loop, and Velcro them around the way you're flying so you can see them when you're descending and you're landing side down. And then on and off as he switches right here. So to turn them on, you just turn them on. So this is a variometer, tells us how fast we're going up or down. Temperature, envelope temperature, all sorts of good stuff on there. Then when we're done, we shut them off, unvelcro them, and put them back in the bag. All right, well, this balloon is in a cart, but basically, you want the Cameron logo on the bag towards the basket. The basket's laid out, so you're going with the wind. Everything wants to go with the wind. And then we'll just pull the big roll Cables out of the out of the bag here. The cable should be all balled up. So you want to be laying out with the wind. Ball, and then uh, we spread them out. All right. 
Now the bottom ones, I always leave hooked to the scoop. The bottom carabiners are always hooked to the scoop, so that brass carabiner right there, that brass indicates that that's a bottom one. Of course, this one's all wadded up, but... And as you pull it off, you flip it on, and once again, tighten it all the way down, and then back a quarter turn. Down, back a quarter. All right. Then we're going to spread the throat out just to make sure everything looks good. And sometimes um, you're going to double check them, even if it's. Uh, we're going to double check them before we inflate because there might be some tangles that are hard to tell before you uh, do the inflation. And once everything's spread out, it becomes much more logical. So at this point, we don't want to get too carried away. Make sure basically it looks good. The green vent is a turning vent. And uh, the black one is also a turning vent, so this balloon's got a right and left rotator on it, so we want to make sure they're all untangled as well. And this balloon is equipped with a smart vent, so it's a parachute top with a smart vent. So on the red line side, there's a flat line, and basically the flat line we always indicate, don't open it any higher than you care to jump from. And the red line, the circular line, is our normal parachute line, so that's a brake pedal. So like right now we're going to look at this one. You can see this one's kind of twisted up, so we'll go ahead and straighten that one out. Go ahead and undo that one, and I think that needs a flip to it. There we go. That might still be... We're going to drag the bag out of the cart. This balloon's got a cart. Some of them, you just drag the bag. And in the desert here, if it's dusty and dirty, we try and lift up on the bag so it doesn't stir the dirt. Good dirt and bad dirt in the desert. The good dirt is the packed down dirt that's not going to attach to your balloon. Bad dirt is Nestle's quick, very thin, powdery dirt. And with the fabric coming out of fabric, it creates a static cling and sucks all that nice powdery dirt onto your balloon. And the balloon, there's no washing machine large enough. So once it gets dirty, it's dirty. Some people use a tarp. All right. The crown line is this extra piece of rope here. We're going to just throw this straight out. Make sure it's not tangled. And it's attached to the top right. of the balloon. This top of the balloon here is called the load ring. All the gores are sewn from the cables at the bottom to this load ring at the top. They're pulled around, fed into themselves, and stitched. And that's what carries the load of the weight of the balloon. And there's also a serial number on this data plate up here that shows the manufacturer and the, the year of the balloon and stuff. So there's a serial number of the balloon right on the data plate. So this is on the outside of the balloon. The parachute will come into place, and we'll show you more on the valve, parachute valve later. But for now, we're going to go uh, tie off and then start the fan up. <laughs> 